question 23. A little bit tricky, this, I think. Now, first things first, just be very careful. Following bid maths, we need to do this division before we do this taking away. So just make sure you don't make a mistake very early on. So I've put around a big square bracket around this bit. This is what I need to deal with first. And I've sorted that out, calling it working one over here. So just focusing on x plus 2 divided by x squared minus 4 over x minus 3. Now remember when we're dividing by a fraction, it's the same thing as, by, as multiplying by the fraction reversed. So I've now got x minus 3 as the numerator and my x squared minus 4 has now become the denominator. And at the same time, I've taken the opportunity to notice that this is the difference between two squares. This is the same thing as x plus 2 times x minus 2. So we get to that um, second line here. We can then, um, so basically on the numerator, we've got x plus 2 times x minus 3. And on the denominator, we've got x plus 2 times x minus 2. So clearly these two terms cancel, leaving us just with x minus 3 over x minus 2. So back to the question. So we've now got 5 take away, but instead of this, we've got x minus 3 over x minus 2. So just a taking away involving fractions. Now remember in order to take away we need to have a common denominator. Well let's choose to have x minus 2 being our common denominator. We've already got that on the second term. We need to have that on the first term. So let's choose to multiply top and bottom by x minus 2. So I've got five lots of x minus 2 over x minus 2. So I'm then tidying that up because both are over x minus 2. I've just popped it as, as just um, the, the numerator comprises the two terms. The denominator, I'm just reflecting the fact that they're both over x minus 2 with a single term. So we've now just got to um, expand and simplify the numerator. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times minus 2 is minus 10. Minus x and plus 3. Be careful. Minusing and minus 3 is plus 3. Then gather up our terms. 5x minus x is 4x minus 10 add 3 is minus 7 so we have 4x minus 7 over our x minus 2 final answer